which I don't know if this is going to be the intro or not, but well, I mean, I'm just, we're like 40 minutes away still, and I'm so excited. It's not even funny. We're uh, going to pick up Bella's half-sister, so the girl that I'm getting my goats from uh, is a personal friend. She's the daughter of my horse trainer, so she's been breeding goats for uh, some years now, and she had three nannies all getting ready to kid around the same time, and so I said, put me down for all the girls, and so I thought that might be like two, maybe three, but it's four, and they were all supposed to kid around the same time, but Bella was born like a full six weeks earlier than the other ones, so that's why she's been at our house for a month now. Um, but we're gonna go to her friend, and they're gonna move out into the little pasture that we built them, and it's gonna be so fun. Another thing, so with Nigerian dwarfs, which is the type of goat that I got, uh, which is the type of goat Bella is, they can be purebred Nigerian dwarfs and have the fainting gene. They don't have to be fainting goats or mixed with a fainting goat to faint, but it's like a dormant gene, like it doesn't always pop up. And so Kendall called me a couple days ago and she said, hey, I don't know if this affects if you want her or not, but two of yours faint. And I was like, oh Lord. So I said, no, I'll still take them. And so she said, well, she's not as friendly as Bella because she hasn't been in my house. But if you can't catch her, you just chase her a little and she falls over. So <laughs> I guess that's the one perk of her fainting, but we'll see if it's needed or not. <laughs> the destination is on your left. Yeah, you're literally just gonna hold her in your lap and I'll put something in your lap if you, in case she pees. But you may get go peeing. Annie Banani. Hi, sweetie. Hi, darling. This is my girl, Annie. She was born and raised at our house and I trained her from a two-year-old and then now she's at the trainer because it's been a little too busy. But, oh, are you more interested in your food? Well. I did raise you, so that makes sense. Can't wait to find my goat. Yeah, so I purposefully got all of my um, little girl goats from the same dad so that when I brought them back here to breed them, they could all be with Frosty and it wouldn't be confusing. <laughs> Where are they at? They're usually over here. Where are they at? They're, over there. they're in the stall. This is uh, Kendall. Kendall, this is Nathan. Do you, mind, do you mind being on camera? Sure. <laughs> She's like, I don't care. <laughs> so. I know they faint. <laughs> so she's going to be upset? Well, she's going to go right with Bella. As soon as we get home, she's going to be with Bella. Pig. Her, her pig's name is Pig. Is it Bubbles? Yes. Hi, Bubbles. Hi, Hi sweetie. Get her. I'm sorry. Well, Bella was with her mama, wasn't she, when we came and got her? She wasn't too bad. Maybe Bella was just a freak, though, because she's been pretty chill. This one's pretty chill, too. Yeah, oh, yeah, she's chill as hold, like me holding her. She's just, when you catch her, if she, like, runs, she's Oh my gosh. She's, she's pretty good. She's well, so we got their whole thing set up at home. So they're right next to our house and I have like an old shed. Which one's her mama? Her mama's the, the, oh baby, I'm sorry. They needed to go though, cause she's a little too thin. Oh yeah, they're dragging her down. That's what people don't understand about like weaning, like horses too. Like you have to, you have to or the mamas get dragged down. No, no, and I appreciate you keeping her a little longer because I, um, like, literally just today we got the gates on because the gates kept taking longer and longer. So it's going to be, I can't wait to show you videos. I'm going to send you videos of her and Bella. Bella's going to be, I don't know what she's going to do because she thinks she's a dog now. Probably going to go after her and be like, who are you? This is my house. Probably. And, like, she's been with the, with the cows for a couple days because um, we've been, like, we had the new baby born and stuff, and it's just been, like, exhausting. 
And uh, so she's gonna come home and she's gonna be like, wait. Did you replace me? <laughs> Hold on. I think she's smaller than Bella was when I got her. She's little. She's little, little. The, her, Bella's mom only has twins. She has triplets. Right, so it's a little smaller. Yeah. I'm excited. So she acts like a dog now, like climbing up my leg, wanting me to hold her that's and like. He rides on pig's back everywhere. He just... <laughs> Look at that one on his mama's back. <laughs> that was yours. Is it mine? These two are yours. Oh my goodness. That was buttercup. So, so I can't get the other ones until a couple weeks. So this one that's trying to, this one right there, that's buttercup. And then the one to the right is blossom. They're a little bigger than this one, I feel like. So that's what they'll look like full grown. Their mamas are, they're tiny. Okay, darling, we'll get you home. She's gonna be so upset. Yes, they all wanna be house. I, I might have to bring this one in to snuggle a few nights just to. Get her all friendly. Yeah. I'm not, maybe not sleep there, but just come in and hang out, just you know. Get ready for that one to get stiff and fall over and be screaming. <laughs> I'm so scared that she's gonna like get a heart attack or something because I I already oh, told. Look at them. They're hands. That's why I have to wean. Triplets. See, there's only two teats to drink from. Yeah, that is. They are. <laughs> Those are my two girls. Y'all are rude. Oh, so this is Frosty. So this is your future wife. This is your future wife. You're pretty. I can't wait to see the colors he has. His first babies are, dude. Do you have to? Oh, he's coming at you. He's going at the camera. So that was the baby daddy or future baby daddy of Bella, Bubbles, Blossom, and Buttercup. I don't think I'm gonna do them all at once. Try to do them like all. I'm gonna do like in phases. Yeah. So like even if we get our back pasture fenced by the time that they're older, I'm gonna make the little pasture next to our house where I have them right now as like like the maternity ward. So like I can go check on them real quick. You gotta come over and like see it all when I get it. Cause I'm, I have our buddy bringing spools for them to jump on and like. They're gonna have a big time. Oh yeah, it's gonna be fun. Our neighbors are gonna hate us. <laughs> all right, sweeties. Oh my, stop it. Stop with the hip thrusting. But anyway, before I, I want I don't want her to stress out anymore, so I'm gonna head home. I'll send you I'll send you pictures and videos of her meeting Bella. Come on, Bubbles. Oh, I'm sorry. It's okay. Don't faint. So that dark one right there is Bella's mama. Okay, darling. You're okay. You smell like a goat. I still have to go set up their little room. We moved that shed over from over there and cleaned it all out. So I'm gonna put some <laughs> shavings and straw in it. I'm waiting on that one gate to get closed before I put her down. It's a muddy mess in here. I feel terrible because we've been having to do so much work in here. So all the grass is ripped up, but baby. Mama's talking. <laughs> it's like a real kid. Well, you are a real kid. What am I saying? All right, darling. It's so muddy, I'm sorry. We'll go get you your sister. She's gonna be so sad to not be a house goat anymore. Bella, I got you a sister. Okay. See my girl. All right, let's go home. She's been a house goat for a month, so she's a lot friendlier. But look how much bigger she is, and she's only like a month older than the other one.
You had to teach her the ropes. I got you a baby. Go to her. Bella. Bella, baby. Go talk to your sister. She's like, I'm not a goat anymore. What do you want from me? I'm a dog. Be nice to your little sister. Uh. <laughs> He's so tiny. Bella, what do you think of bubbles? They're kind of not doing a whole lot right now. <laughs> uh, they're in the back of one of the trucks. <laughs> Oh, this is hilarious. I'm glad she's chilling out, like having Belle out here, even though Belle is not being nice to her, is like has her feeling comfortable. Why don't I go get your feed pans? Hmm? Got so much black hair on me. Let me go get your feed pans and stuff. And then you can have some food. I'll just set it inside there so they start like moseying in there. I'm gonna obviously put down some bedding. I'm gonna ask my mom if we have any extra mats. Oh, you fast girl. <laughs> That's your new house, I haven't put it together yet. Your sister's calling for you. Oh. <laughs> oh, she is gonna boss that poor baby around. Oh! <laughs> what are you doing? So this is very temporary. Um, by tonight, this will have a big rubber mat in it with either shavings or straw, I don't know which one yet. A big water thing. I don't think I'm gonna shut it up tonight. Um, and, you know, we're gonna put some windows in it and stuff. So they have shelter if they want it. Come out here if they want it. Um, about to fill this up with some water. So I'm gonna show her where it is. She might faint with me trying to catch her, but I'm gonna fill this up with water first. Well, let me go try to catch her which she's probably gonna faint, to show her where the water and the food is. Not that she'll eat it right now, but she needs to know where it is and that she can go in there even though we don't have it finished yet. It will be finished tonight. I feel like everyone's gonna be upset that it's not finished. It'll be finished tonight before they go to bed. Hi, sweetie. Are you gonna let me catch you? I don't think you are. I think you're gonna have to pass out. Are you gonna faint? That just hurt my heart so much, but it made her easy to catch. Sweetheart. <laughs> that, why am I laughing? That's horrible. Baby. I'm sorry. <laughs> Let me show you where the food is. All right, look in here. I'm gonna show you. There's food and water. There's the water. And there's the food. Oh. Oh yeah. Bella, let her eat. Okay, you two. I'm gonna let you get acquainted. I'm gonna bring in your, your bedding tonight. 
and I'm gonna redo your water and everything. I'm gonna let you two chill out and get to know each other. So anyway, stay tuned for goat updates because I have two more babies coming after Valentine's Day, so probably like that next Monday. And it should be interesting. I can't wait to show y'all what this looks like once we get the grass coming in, once we get um, some fun toys out here for them to play with. There's gonna be a goat viewing area that we build. It's just gonna be a fun time. This is like the first level of it and it's not too impressive yet, but um, I'm really excited for this goat journey. So stay tuned, like, subscribe, help a sister out and uh, come back for the next, next episode. <laughs>